Laser technology has advanced to the point that we can now create small, light, and extremely reliable laser sights for any type of firearm. Their widest use has been on handguns, and today we're going to look at one of the newest and most practical of these high-tech devices. Welcome back to Davidson's Gallery of Guns. In this segment, Frank W. James of the Shotgun News is going to tell us all about an exciting firearm accessory. Welcome, Frank. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Okay, so tell us, why are laser sights becoming so popular? Well, they've become far more practical. Early laser sights were mounted on the front of the trigger guard in most cases. They were unreliable in terms of accuracy. They were unreliable in terms of operation. And probably one of the greater handicaps with them is that you could never find a holster that would fit them. You couldn't get the gun into your conventional holster. And even if you could, it was somewhat awkward. Now, they've become actually part of the firearm and are far more reliable in terms of operation. This laser light uh, product is four inches long and only adds four tenths of an ounce to the overall weight of the gun. But the biggest advantage to it is the fact that it is so slim and narrow, it fits all your conventional holsters for, that are designed just for this pistol. Okay, so walk us through how it works. It's pretty simple actually. Everything comes in a package that when you purchase the unit. The first thing you do though is you remove two frame pins from the Ruger LCP and you replace them with two counter sleeves. Then you put two screws through on this side and you literally bolt the unit to the gun. The nice thing about this is you do not turn the unit on with your trigger finger inside the trigger guard. Now we're in a pulse mode right now and if you hold this button down it will go to solid mode. The thing that's important is, is there's a small Allen wrench provided with this laser that you can adjust the windage and elevation. It's very important that you coordinate the point of aim with point of impact with any laser mounted on your handgun. You want to do it in a room distance. What's the average length of a room in your house? Pick a midpoint in there, and that's the distance because the laser beam is a theoretical straight line to infinity, whereas the arc of the bullet is a curved line. They're only going to intersect at one point in space. The reason why you want to do this is the advantage to the laser is, is if you're in a self-defense scenario where you cannot see your sights, you, you, cannot, you do not want to use the laser as a crutch for conventional shooting. What you want to use it is, is as an emergency device and it also is a safety indicator because if you're in one of these scenarios, you're down in the mud or you've been knocked down and you pull the gun out and you turn the laser on, you do not want to have the gun sweep your own body. So as a result, the laser indicates if you're pointing it at yourself, that's a safety device of it. It comes with all the mounting brackets and all the wrenches and the batteries. Now, the battery life, if you put it on the pulse mode, and if you were to leave it on the pulse mode for a very long period of time, it would last 10 hours. The battery life on the solid mode, like it is right now, is good for about five hours. Okay. Another important thing is if you forget to shut the, the unit off, it will automatically shut off after six minutes of operation. Altogether, a laser is a very practical accessory to add to your firearm. Yeah, definitely. Well, we were all very impressed by how easy and accurate the one-sight mount laser sight was to use. 